Aristotle, the towering philosopher of ancient Greece, expounded a profound philosophy of rhetoric that transcended mere eloquence, delving into the art of persuasive communication that is rooted in reason and insight. In his seminal work, Rhetoric, Aristotle defined rhetoric as the means to discover the available means of persuasion in any given situation. He recognized that effective communication goes beyond superficial techniques, emphasizing the importance of understanding the audience, the subject matter, and the context. Aristotle's philosophy of rhetoric revolves around three primary modes of persuasion, ethos, pathos, and logos. Ethos refers to the credibility and character of the speaker, as Aristotle believed that an audience is more likely to be persuaded by someone they trust and perceive as morally upright. Pathos involves appealing to the emotions of the audience, recognizing that emotional connection plays a significant role in swaying opinions and decisions. However, Aristotle cautioned against excessive emotional manipulation, emphasizing the importance of using emotions judiciously and in alignment with the subject matter. Logos, the third mode, involves logical reasoning and argumentation. Aristotle believed that a well-structured and reasoned argument is essential for persuading an audience's intellect and rationality. Aristotle's approach to rhetoric is deeply rooted in his belief in the power of dialectic, the process of logical discourse and inquiry. He saw rhetoric and dialectic as complementary, with rhetoric being concerned with persuasion and dialectic focused on arriving at truths through reasoned dialogue. This dialectical foundation imbues his rhetoric with a commitment to seeking the truth, avoiding fallacies, and engaging in open and respectful dialogue. Furthermore, Aristotle outlined the concept of the enthymeme, a syllogism that omits one of its premises and relies on the audience to fill in the missing piece. Enthymemes are crafted to engage the audience's reasoning, encouraging them to actively participate in the persuasive process. This approach aligns with Aristotle's view of persuasion as a cooperative effort between the speaker and the audience, rather than a one-sided imposition of ideas. Aristotle's philosophy of rhetoric stands as a guide to ethical and effective communication, emphasizing the importance of understanding one's audience and subject matter while employing a balance of ethos, pathos, and logos. It embodies the idea that persuasion is not merely about winning debates, but about fostering a genuine exchange of ideas and perspectives. Rooted in logic, ethics, and a deep respect for human intellect, Aristotle's rhetoric is a timeless testament to the art of influencing thought and action through the power of reasoned discourse.